What's up everybody? I am going to show you today how to do two fishtail braids in your hair. Why am I starting with my hair in a towel? Well, because I just cleaned it. The best time to do a fishtail braid if you want the wave is right after you wash it. And I just used that bathtub. I'm all nice and clean. Let's get started. First, let's reveal it. Ugh. And uh, my mirror is right here, so if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm doing my hair in a mirror. Yeah, I've color treated my hair before. That's why I put stuff on it. But not before. Hang on. <laughs> I forgot to clean up my brush before. I was just getting rid of the little sheep that hangs out in here. And I'm finished with my hair. All right. Oops, I don't want to see that. Let's go ahead and... This is a detangling brush, I love it. It's like, it's so soft. It doesn't hurt your head at all. Especially if you have hair like mine, that's somewhat relatively sensitive. Don't mind me, I was just closing the door with my foot. I know there's other noise around, but please bear with me. Maybe I'll use some YouTube music to put behind it, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep going. I just want to see what I can see there. Yeah, I have a few snarls. It's because, oh my goodness. Look, it's a rat. There's a rat in my hair. Let's get him. Let's get him out of there. We don't need a, oh dear. Okay, we don't need a rat in my hair. We don't need any rats. But since I went straight from towel to this, you get to experience with me the pain and horrors of my hair. Yeah, I know I need a trim, but I don't trust anyone with my hair. They, they see long hair. They're like, ooh, let's cut it off. We don't want that. And if you're wondering why my face is so plain Jane, I am not wearing any makeup. Obviously. That will be part two. I want to do my makeup how how I normally do my makeup for the day. And since I have I mean, part of the new eyebrow club, I like to go for a dark smoky eye for a little definition around my eyeballs, you know what I mean? All right, now that that seems to be brushed out very nicely. Oh, it's very silky smooth. Okay, I'm obsessed with my own hair. Sad, especially with how damaged it is. Whatever, I love it still. I have an array of stuff here on my counter. I'm a huge fan of Garnier Fruity, so I'm not sponsored. I wish. So I, I mix a whole bunch of stuff together to make the perfect hair whatever. So, excuse me. So it's lovely to me. Alright, so we're going to start with the Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. It's used and abused. I love this stuff. So I'm just getting a little whatever on my hand. I'm not editing this video, by the way, so you're gonna see all of my goofiness. Just put that away so I don't think I need it again. Something anti-frizz serum. It's very good in the cold weather, especially for me. I go to kickboxing, and my hair always gets attracted to the punching bag, so it turns out like a big cockadoodle crown, whatever. So. That's good for my hair, and uh, more anti-humidity stuff. I love Garnier Fruities. I'm just gonna put a little dog over here. Come on. Like I said, used and abused. Just a little bit, don't need too much. And uh, I do have some split ends, and believe it or not, this stuff actually works. It makes my hair feel better. Cool, right? So I'll just splat that in there too. And mix it. It's a little messy. Alright, just spread it through the hair. Make it as even as you can possibly make it. All the way through. 
and I have a little shedding because when it's hot in here and it's winter outside and my body's really confused because my grandfather keeps to be a sauna. <laughs> See there goes some of that shedded hair. And uh, because he gets cold easy, I stay with him to help him out because he's old and he really can't care for himself too much. So I'm here for him if he needs me. I just wish he would quit them damn cigarettes. If you smoke, you're gonna end up exploiting your granddaughter well into her 20s for her health because you won't be able to care for yourself in your later years. I, I wanna leave, but I can't leave him. He matters too much to me, you know? So I put up with it. So this is what we got. He's in the bathroom downstairs, and he has the fan on, so that's that loud whirring, so my apologies, guys. I'll do my best to talk over it. All right, now that that's done, feels evenly distributed. I usually go with a side part. You can do a part wherever you want, as long as, you know, it's a relatively nice straight line. So for that, I will get out my wee little comb and I start my part here which is probably obvious by how thin it is here because that's where I usually start my parts so we're gonna go all the way down back okay and then bring the hair to two sides Yeah, I haven't dyed my hair in a while. I'm trying to find out what my natural hair color is. So, since we can only do one side at a time, I'm gonna get out my handy scrunchie and tie one side off, just so it's out of my way and I don't accidentally pick up any of the hairs. Sorry I keep looking away. I just like, I'm so used to doing this in the mirror, so I'm gonna try to do it with my selfie cam. <sighs> this is all new. It's like my first hair video. Cool. And I have, I've used, I'm a Twitch streamer. No one's really, I don't stream with my face because I don't have a face cam. And I really can't leave my phone on for too, too long because it would probably, you know, spontaneously combust, which we don't want that. We do really don't want that. So here's my other section. Sometimes, I find it easier to tie it off first, so I'm going to bunch my hair, especially when it's two. I wanted two because I like to do two braids until, you know, you go to the grocery store and the man behind the counter calls you Heidi because you're blonde with two braids, big whoop. I'm not quite sure who Heidi is. I think it was something to do with a TV show way back when. So you can either leave it in or cut it out when you're finished, but get these um, these really good disposable ones. Oh my God, they just rained all over my bathroom floor. Whatever, we'll get that between part one and two. This is part one. So we have our nice long hair that needs a trim, but I love my hair anyway. I really, really do. So, with the fishtails that I do, I part the hair into two separate bits. And I just grab a little bit of each side, like on the far outside, if you see that. And then I flip it over top and under bottom. So then I do that same grab from the way back over the top and under the bottom. So we're just going to continue to do this all the way down. Sorry that my hands are in the way. So we just flip that over top and it's just like literally you fold section over section over section and uh, 
with the different colors that I've had in my hair, different shades of blonde, um, and also my roots. It's, it comes out quite interesting looking brain. You know, it's quite a color mix. You just see where you're going. We're gonna grab a little bit and flip it over top. Grab this. Is it here? Sorry, I keep using my regular mirror because I'm just so used to it. You don't even want to know how I'm hanging, suspending my phone in midair to record this. It involves my old dog chain and a little bit of ingenuity. I'll take a picture of it later. Maybe if I feel like embarrassing myself. Probably won't. So. These braids take forever. So we are going down like so. I just had to refer back to this mirror because my face is relatively tiny in my phone screen. I got my concentration lines showing. All right, we have, by the way, this bathroom has not been redone since like 1970, whatever. <laughs> this is my grandparents' home, so we don't mind the yellow bathroom. You know, it's so much fun to get ready in here in the morning because nothing looks good on you when you're reflecting yellow. Really, it does not. So. We're just braiding all down this hair. That's what I love about long hair. You can braid it and it takes days. And I have to move around because I don't move the circulation down through my to my hands. Apparently moving my feet does that too. What have you? <laughs> okay. It's getting to the point where I can like look down at it. I love having my hair long. I haven't had I had it cut here. About seven years ago, and now it's about here, so it grows really slow. You see why I don't want to cut it? I'm not gonna be one of those girls that always cut their hair. And you know what? Tomorrow morning, I'm probably gonna get a picture of this to show the the waves that come out. Or maybe I'll make a video in the morning saying, "This is how you take the braids out, and this is what it looks like." Poof, and then it's done. All right. So we're getting toward the end, but you see, we don't want all the like straight ends at the bottom of our waves. I always found those to be annoying, so I try to get as far down as possible. That's why you use the little, the the small bands. You gotta use the small rubber bands, the little. Uh, they're clear. There's rainbow. There's black. Like any color to suit your fancy. And I'm just grabbing a little section at a time, little bits at a time, just keep weaving back and forth. It's my favorite part. Um, I love braiding my hair. Braiding my hair is a lot of fun. I can braid it behind my back. You know, I can do one long fishtail braid. Like I do that standing around waiting for kickboxing class to start. Like people are getting ready and I'm just like, I comb my fingers through my hair. So I'm gonna grab another one. One. I'm gonna, gotta make it a little bit bigger. Don't laugh at me. I mean, please do. I like to make people laugh. It's fun. So we got this going. Yeah. And I say, since I parted it on the side, I don't really even care if this braid is equal to in length to the other side because it's gonna be different. This has more of this than this does, you know? So I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. It keeps it nice and neat, but these nice fishtail braid. I love how it looks. I love these colors in my hair. I wonder what you call that color. If you're a hairstylist, let me know. Anywho, let's go here. Oh man, I got me scratching all wet. Cause my hair is still damp. So we're gonna do this here. I'm gonna brush it right down. I'm just gonna refer to my mirror real quick. 
This is gonna be the hardest, harder side to do because I can't see that side unless I put a mirror on that side. But my mirror is over here. Where's the piece here? We got this one. I'm gonna put that into here. I'm gonna grab the sections. Snap myself. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we're gonna tie that. It's funny when you can hear the, the sound of the elastic. Ow. Alright. Just fix that. So we're gonna brush all this down. I love these kinds of hair brushes. This one's made by Conair. This soft brushes, if you have really fine hair like me. It is your friend because it like it gets rid of the ouch when taking out snarls. And also doesn't uh hurt to add that I always use a lot of conditioner. So here we're gonna separate into two pieces again. Alright, so we grab this piece and put it over the side and under that side. Grab a far end over here and over top underneath just weaving just weaving that's all it is so don't mind my toilet over there everyone has one it happens you know Shh. not saying a word <laughs> so if you want to have a wavier waves pull them tight so that's what we're gonna do here So, we're just grabbing chunks of hair from the outer end and putting it over the bunch of hair and underneath the other side. Doing the same from this side. Grab a bunch and put that underneath. Just back and forth. That's all you gotta do. I think fishtail braids make the most interesting waves. And uh, it's really hard to make them asymmetrical as opposed to those three piece braids, which, you know, sometimes they turn out looking like this or like this, like depending on if you don't pull tight enough one way or the other way, because you only have three slices, slices. Wow, okay, three strands to work with. But this, you're just grabbing little bits over equally sectioned out bunches over under patterns let me get a little closer all right i really love braiding my hair have i said that well when i get bad news about your car you tend to start doing things that you love just to cheer yourself up and really can't listen to the beatles while i do this to cheer up because it's copyright. Uh, so just imagine listening to Beatles watching me braid my hair. Let's imagine it together. That was nice. It's a good song. Yeah, I don't know if saying names of songs would get me in trouble, but the way I feel about my car, the sadness makes me feel like I'm part of uh, Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts band. Okay, so we're making some progress as I talk. <laughs> I've been wanting to do a hair video, and uh, I think when you're braiding and stuff, you might get sweaty because you gotta hold your arms up a lot. So if you can, get a shirt without straps or like a tank top because you gotta sweat. It's unavoidable that you're going to sweat when you braid your hair. So we're almost done with this braid. Almost. Almost. I'm getting impatient now. It's taking forever. <laughs> but this braid I kind of learned watching myself a YouTube video. I don't remember which video it was. I think I watched a whole bunch of different videos on different 
techniques on how to braid the fishtail. And some did it this way, some did it this way. Um, so I kind of just came up with whatever. It was such a long time ago, like I've been, all my Barbies had braided hair. And like I would practice on them and I don't even, like, it's been forever since I was a little girl. Let's put it like that. So, I almost finished. Just gotta keep braiding. Feeling sweaty. <laughs> After this, part two is going to be makeup. What I normally do when I do my makeup. Because I am someone who actually goes around more often than not without makeup. Um, I never really coat my face and everything. I don't do my eyebrows, even though that's um, an unpopular opinion. People like to have big caterpillars on their foreheads. And don't get me wrong, it looks good on some people. I just, I don't like it on myself. It's all personal, personal preference. I'm sure if a professional did it and showed me how to do it properly, I might be okay with it. But uh, as it stands, I know it would look like dog do. So I'm just not gonna do that to myself and making a donkey out of myself. So I'll just do my makeup how I normally do my makeup. And uh, I keep looking over there because that's my mirror, like I said before. So, and also like I said before, I don't care. It really does kind of just about match. So I'm gonna tie this off and that would be it for the fishy tail braids. Unless you're looking to make them so they uh, make very nice waves. In that case, I use this product as well. Also by Garnier Vertis. It's a, uh, it's like an ultra stronghold uh, sleek and shine. So I'm just gonna do that on the braids. And like squish it in the braid. For good measure, just so it stays down a little bit, because I'm gonna wear this to my to my sleep to sleep. I'm gonna slumber in this, and in the morning I will have some funky ass waves. Nice. All right. What do you think? Not too bad. Certainly shiny because I use a lot of leave-in conditioner. And if you can tell me what my, what you would call my natural hair color, that would be lovely because I have no clue. All right, so we're done with that. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in for part two where we do makeup. Bye.